go. The Enchanting Raquel Welch, 1966. Pretty Samantha Fox, American Actress, 1988. Nineteen fifty two. Photographs show families who migrated to California during the Dust Bowl years. People pictured include Mr. Mrs. Dinwiddie with daughter Ruth and grandchildren Margaret and Bobby. October seventh, nineteen fifty four. Police desk, Village Hall, Garden City, Long Island. New York Moore Hutchins client. July 1924. A new use for discarded automobile horns has been discovered by Dr. William C. Fowler, Health Officer of Washington, D.C. DR. January 1941. Guest at Sarasota, Florida, trailer park washing his car. Detroit circa 1904. Washington Boulevard Fountain of Ice. January 1941. Guests at Sarasota, Florida, Trailer Park. April 1943. Baltimore, Maryland. Trucks and trains unloading goods underneath elevated trolley. Snowy Washington, D.C., circa 1935. East front of U.S. Capitol at night in winter. September 17, 1952. Presidential candidate Dwight Eisenhower speaking to a crowd at a whistle-stop event near a steel mill. August 19, 1959. Linden Woods, Lindenwood Village, Swim Club, Howard Beach, Queens. Pulled to clubhouse from diving board. Washington, D.C., or vicinity, circa 1923. Joe Roberts. August 19, 1959. Lindenwood Swim Club, Howard Beach, Queens. View to clubhouse. Lapidus Kornblath, Harold Liebman, client. January 1939. Boy whose father is on relief. Family living in shanty at City Dump. Heron, Illinois.
Knoxville, Tennessee, circa 1905. Cumberland Club and Walnut Street. Quick, someone call the photobomb squad. New Zealand circa 1921. Wanganui Fire Brigade's Merriweather Fire Engine on Blocks, probably in Chavon Garage. June 1938. She awaits the International Streetcar at a corner in El Paso, Texas, to return across the bridge to Mexico. New York circa 1908. Municipal Ferry Richmond, where men are port and women are starboard, in theory at least. Washington, D.C. A curious photograph title, Auto Wreck. July 30th, 23. Washington, D.C., circa 1924. Two young girls with dolls. We promise not to breathe a word. Atlantic City, circa 1910. The Beach and Steeplechase Pier. Washington, D.C., 1923. Assistant, P.M.G. Bartlett's car. Assistant Postmaster General John Bartlett survived. September 1942. Richwood, West Virginia. Young men on train leaving for New York State where they will help in the harvest of tomatoes, apples, and other crops. January 1939. Mother of family on relief living in shanty at City Dump, Heron, Illinois. January 1939, Heron, Illinois. Family on relief living in shanty at City Dump. February 1943, Moreno Valley, New Mexico. Mary Mutz making an apple pie on the Mutz Ranch. Stunning Jane Mansfield in the Bath, 1961. New York circa 1906. 71st Regiment Armory, Park Avenue. Nineteen oh five, Annapolis, Maryland. Payday at the U.S. Naval Academy.
Wellington, New Zealand, circa 1928. Car wreck after an accident. One dejected looking Jewett. Circa 1923. Street scene, New Orleans. Who can name the street? It has a nice view of the Hibernia Bank Tower. March 3rd, 1959. Long Island Lighting Company Trucks and Men. A diamond tea truck bearing the likeness of Locos. Lil. Washington, D.C., circa 1935. Office Workers. A future diorama in the National Secretarial Museum. July 1943, Washington, D.C., member of the Catholic Evidence Guild speaking in Logan Circle. June 1952, cornered in his corner office. Harried executives sitting at desk with pill bottles and ashtray full of cigarette butts, arms are handing him papers and a telephone. June 1943. Miss Frances Heisler, pump attendant at one of the Atlantic Refining Company garages in Philadelphia. She was formerly a clerk in the payroll department of the Curtis Publishing Company. November 1908, High Shoals, North Carolina. St. John's Mission School, not supported by the mill company, but we are always on good terms with them, said the sister in charge, supported by the Episcopal Church. Average attendance 15. Circa 1908, Atlantic Avenue, Atlantic City, New Jersey. The business end of A.C. November 1942, Columbia Steel Company at Geneva, Utah, rigging a pipe-setting derrick for a new mill under construction which will make important additions to the vast amounts of steel needed for the war effort. Washington, D.C., circa 1920. Washington Times, 2104 16th Street Southeast home of the 20-step program. Nineteen fourteen, Wanganui, New Zealand. Employees of Thomas Mitchell Limited Butchers. Atlantic City circa 1905. Hotel Chalfont and Boardwalk, where the diversions include shooting flames, rolling chairs, and social drama. June 1943. Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. Our second visit with Mrs. Helen Joyce, one of the many women who now work for the Supply Wills Jones Milk Company. July 1952. Photographs show models posed leaning shoulders against mirrors, resulting in reflected images. Includes women wearing furs and jewels, various hairstyles.
June 6, 1942. Indiana Union Building, Indiana University, Bloomington, Lounge I. eighteen sixty four Bermuda Hundred, Virginia Headquarters of General Benjamin Butler November nineteen twenty two Washington DC Auto Rec Who'll be first to pinpoint the intersection? June 1943, Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. Mrs. Helen Joyce, one of the many women now working for the Supply Wills Jones Milk Company. She has one child and her husband is a seaman first class in the Navy. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Stunning Sue Alexander in a swimsuit. 1970s photo. Nominating Danny Ash in a bikini, 1989. Pretty Woman Samantha Fox American Actress 1989 April 1943 Washington DC Slightly inebriated couple at the sea grill December 1910, Jefferson County, Alabama. A greaser on the tipple at Bessie Mine of the Sloss Sheffield Steel and Iron Company. Said he was 14 years old, but it is doubtful. January 1937, man who works in the packing house at Deerfield, Florida. nineteen thirty nine Purnell House Jeff Davis Street Selma Dallas County Alabama Porch with Colonets April nineteen forty one Street Scene South Side Chicago April 1953, Washington, D.C. Senator Joseph McCarthy of Wisconsin, Kodachrome by Frank Bauman. April 1922, Washington, D.C. Snow scenes after blizzard when the mailbox is also an icebox. Alabama circa 1905. The cotton docks are mobile. Big bales of bowls.
The winter of 2013 to 14 may seem brutal, but as a kid in Bedford, Quebec, just a few miles north of Vermont, in the late 1950s, I loved winter. We played outside all day, summer and winter, no electronic distractions, and this shot shows a bunch of us on a 12-foot pushed-up snow pile on the laneway of a neighbor. May 1942. Southington, Connecticut Monty's Diner. December 1942. Chicago, Illinois. Working on a locomotive at the Chicago Northwestern Railroad Repair Shops. May 1942. Southington, Connecticut. Girls at Drugstore. Luncheonette and Fountain Service. But what's the word behind the girls? Washington, D.C., or vicinity circa 1937. Potomac Electric Power Company Pulse Setting. Burlington, Vermont, circa 1911. Church Street North from Bank Street. January 19, 1951. Common accidents in the home? The accident lady is back. Have a nice trip. Wellington, New Zealand. Nineteen forty two. New York. Negro taxi driver. Story dealing with the life of Negroes in New York, their professions, occupations, and recreational activities. October 1955. Singer Dinah Shore on the set of her television show. Arlington County, Virginia, circa 1941. National Airport. Interior of waiting room showing ticket counter. Burlington, Vermont, circa 1911. Hotel Vermont, now the Vermont House Condominiums. Nineteen forty two. Our second example from Albert Fenn's record of the life of Negroes in New York. January twenty second, nineteen twenty two. Washington, DC. Woman in three wheeled vehicle. eighteen sixty five city point virginia scouts at secret service headquarters in the last months of the war nineteen fourteen dog wearing dress posed with miniature violin and sheet music on stand 
playing the inverted waltz. Vermont circa 1904. Summit cut green mountains. Rutland RR photographer special. New Orleans circa 1920. Diamond Antique Store, Royal Street. Stunning Samantha Fox, actress 1987. Another of Albert Fenn's uncaptioned New York photos from 1942, this one part of a series of pictures showing the violinist and bandleader Eddie South with his family at home. A very tidy home note that even the Coke bottles have coasters. July 1910. New York. Clifford B. Harmon seated in airplane, Aviator and land developer. New York circa 1908. Mary Langley Bruce seated with her Griffin Bruxellas Cupid dot. From 1942, our second glimpse of life in the Eddie South household is captured by photographer Albert Fenn. The band leader in his New York domicile with a lady we presume to be Mrs. South. And of course, coasters. New York circa 1908. Blind woman taking dictation on machine. nineteen fifty one santa barbara california lana turner lunching by pool at the coral casino with daughter cheryl crane february nineteen twenty two washington dc barefoot volleyball and snow recreation at fort frostbite New York, 1942. Another of Albert Fenn's photos recording the family life of musician Eddie South. June 12, 1935. Newark Passenger Station, Pennsylvania Railroad. Waiting room. Sunlight and Passengers McKim Mead White Client Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, circa 1914 Sixth Avenue above the Nixon Theater Home to the Nixon Cafe June 30th, 1910. Traveling Bridge, Marseilles, France. September 1943. 
a Greyhound bus trip from Louisville to Memphis and the terminals. Roberta Locker, going to Chattanooga from Elora, Tennessee, to work. March 1943. Needles, California. General view of street leading to depot of the Atchison, Topeka Santa Fe Railroad. March 20th, 1959. 16 year old actress Annette Funicello, bicycle queen of 1959. Summer 1935. Washington, D.C., Alley Dwelling. The clutter of filth, debris, and tin cans all have highly utilitarian purposes. Many of the houses are without gas, water, or electric connections. March 9, 1925. Washington, D.C. Among the first to visit the 1925 Amaryllis show at the government greenhouses on B Street was the new Secretary of Agriculture William M. Jardine. March 9, 1938. November 25, 1938. For those of us who can't get enough of the white stuff, Washington was digging itself out of eight inches of snow today, the first snowstorm of winter. The scene at the White House. Pittsburgh circa 1905. Monongahela and Klein up Mount Washington. A funicular railway that ran until 1935. The freight incline is on the left. March 1924. Tenement homework. Pictures taken in connection with investigation. See Report T, New York 39. April 25, 1930. New York. Choreographer Sarah Mildred Strauss and Pupils. Q. Rhapsody in Gray. Charleston, South Carolina, circa 1910. King Street, South. Among the merchants vying for your trade are a Bible depository, Victor Talking Machines dealer and branch of the Wide Awake store. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Joey Lansing is an American actress, photo model, and singer. Photo 1954. Go. Stunning model Samantha Fox 1989. Photo from the 80s aerobics series, The Girl Without a Caption. Summer 1938. Daughter of Virgil Thaxton, farmer near Mechanicsburg, Ohio. February 1922. Woman on sled being pulled by biplane in snow, with Washington Monument in background.
January 28, 1922. Snow, Washington, D.C. A frosty Ford Model T during the blizzard of 1922. New York, February 1952. Your show of shows comedian Sid Caesar and Imogene Coca doing a skit about a couple watching the Continental Dot. January 1937. Migrant agricultural workers. Family from New Mexico. Camp near the packing house at Deerfield, Florida. Note the box labeled Yakima apples which has been carried all the way from the apple orchards of Washington. June 1943. Washington, D.C. pasting up a telegram at the Western Union Telegraph office. Doris and Dorothy Bell send and receive telegrams from the Baltimore circuit. New York circa 1910. Broadway and Hotel Victoria. April 1952. Actress Audrey Hepburn experimenting with various hairstyles, wigs, and makeup for film Roman Holiday. circa 1920s. Men building sand castle and two unidentified women. Long Beach, New York. March 1943. Acomita, New Mexico. Brakeman Ari Capsi repacking a journal box of a special car as the train on the Atchison. Topeka Santa Fe Railroad between Belen and Gallup, New Mexico, waits on a siding. June 24, 1938. Shirley sees her old friend the President. Shirley Temple leaving the White House today after a very important conference with the President. Shirley told Mr. Roosevelt about losing a tooth last night, and he told her about Sistai and Buzzy losing their teeth. July 1920. Washington, D.C. Dr. H. B. Bradford Professor Harry Bradford Naturalist and animal artist According to the Washington Post, was also, in 1910, President of the Anti-Vaccination Society of the District of Columbia 1904 Main Street, Dayton, Ohio Home of the Tooth Tower January 19, 1951. Common accidents in the home? A sentiment open to a number of interpretations. December 1941. Washington, D.C. Girls in Hot Shops Restaurant. July 1937, Georgia Road sign, photo by Dorothea Lane, who seems to have appreciated quirky signs. Circa 1910, Chester Cathedral, England, major construction 11th to 15th century.
February 1911. Bayou La Battery, Alabama. Little Julia tending the baby at home. All the older ones are at the factory. She shucks oysters also. Alabama Canning Company. March 1943. Conductor George E. Burton, having lunch in the caboose on the Atchison, Topeka Santa Fe between Chicago and Chillicothe. January 29, 1922. Washington, D.C. Knickerbocker after collapse. Aftermath of the Knickerbocker Theater disaster, in which the snow-laden roof of Harry Crandall's cinema at Columbia Road and 18th Street caved in, killing 98 moviegoers. 1951, Santa Barbara, California. Lana Turner by pool at the Coral Casino. September 1942. Manpower. Americans all. Husky, bright-eyed Joe Gore Jr. is a young American of Polish descent who is determined that Hitler shall be driven from Poland and kept from America's shores. Canal Street in New Orleans circa 1910. Large building is the Maison Blanche department store. October 1942. High School Victory Corps. The Firemen's Carry. Method of carrying a wounded comrade is shown here by boys in the commando course of the physical education program at Flushing High School, Queens, New York. May 1936, somewhere in Indiana. Auto transport at gas station. Charming Jacqueline Sheen, 1985. July 31st, 1922. Laurel, Maryland. Two Beo Freights wrecked in head-on crash at Laurel Switch. December 1942. Armed guard at a copper smelter of the Phelps Dodge Mining Company at Morency, Arizona. This plant is supplying great quantities of the copper so vital in our war effort. circa 1910. Beach Street, Manchester, New Hampshire. Washington, D.C., 1920. Potomac Sales Company, Front. Adding to the scant contemporary documentation of the Dixie Flyer, one of many assembled cars from the early years of motoring. July 1957. Actor James Arness filming on location for the television series Gunsmoke. January 1943. New York. 16-year-old boy who is in the Naval Reserve on Mulberry Street.
Hans Colosseum, interior. A flag-bedecked footwear sale held by the Hans chain of shoes stores at Washington, D.C. Center Market in July 1920. Circa 1890s-1900 Beach and Ladies Bathing Place, Margate, England Circa 1910 RR Station at Manchester, New Hampshire Washington, D.C., 1921. Potomac Sales Company, Wreck. Just up the alley from P. McEwen, Horse Shore. March 1943. View from Caboose on the Atchison, Topeka Santa Fe Railroad between Belen and Gallup. New Mexico. January 1959. Majority of photographs concern Dr. John O. Brown, Negro ophthalmologist, and his family, and depicts various forms of racial segregation and integration in Miami. May 1943, Clinton, Iowa. Women wipers of the Chicago Northwestern Railroad going out to work on an engine at the Roundhouse. Nineteen thirteen, Annapolis, Maryland. U.S. Naval Academy football team. nineteen thirteen Annapolis, Maryland US Naval Academy football team F Street Northwest in Washington DC circa nineteen oh six New York circa 1931. R.H. Macy Company. Building Broadway 34th Street. The original big box retailer. Washington, D.C. circa 1925. Federal Clothing Store, 621 7th Street Northwest. March 1936, low-cost housing, St. Louis, Missouri, cigars and coke not included. Circa 1910, coal barges at confluence of Allegheny and Monongahela rivers at Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. January 1922, Washington, D.C., man in three-wheeled vehicle. Bonanza, 
bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Beautiful Samantha Strong 1988 photo shoot in beautiful lingerie. The show and here we go. Pretty English model Samantha Fox 1989. Lonnie Anderson is an American actress. Photo 1964. May 1921. Washington, D.C. Professor Charles Seeger, a composer, is a brother of Alan Seeger, the war poet. His wife is a distinguished violinist. April 1865. Richmond, Virginia. Libby Prison. The infamous Confederate jail. June 17, 1922. Washington Advertising Club Bathing Costume Contest at Tidal Basin. September 1952. Rolling Homes. Kodachrome from photos by Charlotte Brooks and Bob Lerner for the Look Magazine assignment. Trailer Story Cincinnati circa 1912 Main Street from Fountain Square With a nice view of the Blymire Building circa 1910. Lunch hour on the docks Jacksonville, Florida. May 1955. Actor Fess Parker on a 22-city promotional tour as Davy Crockett. Includes public appearances at department stores. Circa 1920. Unidentified buildings, possibly movie set, associated with famous players Lasky. September 1942. New York. Third Avenue Elevated Railway Station in the 70s at 830 AM. America's favorite at the guess it scales. May 23, 1921. Washington, DC. Professor Charles Lewis Seeger and family. Charles Seeger wife Constance Edson Seeger, and their two-year-old son Pete, a future folk of fame. Wellington, New Zealand, 1890. Post and Telegraph Department football team with men in rugby football kit. Postmaster William Copeland seated behind man with ball. Nineteen fourteen. Three kittens in night clothes gathered around candlestick.
April May 1925. Washington, D.C. And no caption. If you stare at this long enough, you really don't need a caption. 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 New York, 1918. Louison Building, 119 West 40th Street. Manic Franck Architects. Charleston, South Carolina, circa 1920. Street scene with horse and wagon. USS Freelance Officers and Crew. This patrol vessel, a converted steam yacht, was loaned to the Navy for service in the Spanish-American War. Palm Beach in 1902. Royal, Poinciana Hotel, and Trance. January 1943. New M4 tanks, which will soon be hurling their might against the Axis in the Schenectady, New York, plant of the American Locomotive Company. November 1910. Pell City, Alabama. Doffers in Pell City Cotton Mill. Superintendent of Mill is also mayor of Pell City. Nineteen seventeen. District of Columbia traffic stop go signs. From the birthplace of that musical genre, perhaps the earliest visual representation of Go Go. Circa 1905. South Salina Street, Syracuse, New York. Meet you in an hour at the Credit Parlors. March 1966. Actors Adam West and Burt Ward on the set of the movie Batman. September 3, 1920. Washington, D.C. Wapsi Ho Hong. We leave it to our resourceful commenters to fill in the blanks. September 3, 1920. Washington, D.C. Wapsi Ho Hong. We leave it to our resourceful commenters to fill in the blanks. October 1957. The Lemon family of Little Rock, Arkansas father Fred, mother Edith, daughters Virginia and Rosemary, and son Gary at home, in front of State Capitol building, on streets of Little Rock. Daisy. A fictional character, played by Catherine Bach, from the 1980 American television series The Dukes of Hazard. New Orleans circa 1923. View of a street and roofs. Also an ice wagon whose horse is wearing a hat. Bonus points if you can identify the street. March 1960. 
March 1936. Washington, D.C. No caption, man with stop sign. Our second look in as many days at traffic sign history. June 1943. Gloucester, Massachusetts, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Lopez. They have two boys in the armed forces, six children altogether. He is a fish skinner in the Gorton Pew fishery. Washington, D.C., 1925. No caption, man with highway signs. Circa 1905. Bath House, Nantiscot Beach, Massachusetts. Note the rules and regulations for automobiles, etc. Posted at left. August 1953. Jane Russell and Mary McCarty on the set of the film The French Line. August 1963. Group portrait of several of the organizers of the March on Washington, among them, Matthew Amon, Rabbi Joaquin Prinz, John Lewis, the Reverend Eugene Carson Blake, Whitney Young, A. Philip Randolph, the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., and Roy Wilkins. July 1942. Training high school boys to identify planes. There's no question about these young people's ability to recognize airplanes by their silhouettes. They're learning this and other essential facts of aviation at Weequahic High School, Newark, New Jersey. In 1955, my father visited San Francisco. This picture shows what the Cliff House looked like at that time. April 1968. Star Trek actor Leonard Nima in recording studio. Feeling groovy. Mid 1938. Street scene, New York. With your choice of refreshment, shiny shoes and Dancing on the Water. January 1943. Chicago, Illinois. Union Station Train Concourse. January 1943, Chicago, Illinois, Union Station Train Concourse. March 1957, women on board destroyer USS Maddox posing with sailors, modeling clothing with a nautical influence. Clearing away the debris, California Street, San Francisco. Aftermath of the earthquake and fire of April 18, 1906. Nineteen forties. Arlington County, Virginia. War Department. Pentagon Aerial View.
December 1942. Switch lists coming in by teletype to the hump office at a Chicago Northwestern Railroad Yard, Chicago. Washington, D.C., circa 1925. Federal Clothing Store, 621 7th Street Northwest. Circa 1904. Commonwealth Avenue, Boston. An ultra detailed view of bustling Bean Town. This photo is from my father's trip to Northern California in approximately 1950. I am hoping that someone who knows cars can come up a more precise date for the picture by noting the date of manufacture of the newest car shown here. New Orleans circa 1923. Upper stories of buildings with wrought iron balconies. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Charming Karen Brenna in red lace lingerie. Pretty Heather Thomas 1978. Cute model Maria Whitaker 1989. June 1942. Washington, D.C. U.S. Office of Defense Transportation System of Port Control and its Traffic Channel Control. Bourbon Street and Ursulines Avenue circa 1924. New Orleans Organ Grinder. Washington, D.C., circa 1940. Ernest Kendall, teacher of U.S. Capitol Pages. Circa 1904. Ridgewood Avenue, Daytona, Florida. And the Surrey with the fringe on top. November 1909. A group of workers in Jonas Glass Works, Minnetola, New Jersey. These are typical of conditions in southern New Jersey although one finds, occasionally, a few younger workers. Nineteen twenty-five, Washington, D.C. Broadcasting Equipment. Adjusting the Modulator Tube Filament Rheostat May 3, 1955 Family Picnicking and Barbecuing Outdoors
1959. American Bandstand MC Dick Clark with teenagers on the set of the show. January 1, 1943. New York. Blowing horns on Bleecker Street on New Year's Day. San Francisco Views, 1927. On Pine Street. Looking east at the 32-story Rust Building. nineteen seventeen city market washington dc our third glimpse of this produce market manhattan circa nineteen oh five city hall and park new york New Zealand circa 1938. Cadillac 353 V8 service car operated by Rotorua Motors. Spring 1942. Detroit, Michigan. Girls coming out of the Highland Park Chrysler plant. Marilyn Monroe in 1953 in Banff, Alberta, visiting Canada to film River of No Return. Circa 1963. Milwaukee Art Museum, War Memorial Center, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 1952-57 Aero Saarinen Architect July 1940 Street scene at the Fiesta in Santa Fe, New Mexico January 20th, 1921. Washington, D.C. American Forestry Association, Birdhouse Contest. Circa 1863. Union officer at Point Lookout, Tennessee, with Cavalry Sabre. nineteen thirty five washington dc alley dwelling the clutter of filth debris and tin cans all have highly utilitarian purposes whatever that means many of the houses are without gas water or electric connections october nineteen fifty seven assembly line with nineteen fifty eight chevrolets Circa 1929. Unidentified women, possibly Elizabeth Duncan dancers.
November 30, 1920. Washington, D.C. Charles M. Schwab of the Colorama Apartments probably has the largest collection of stamps in the East. This is a pile of approximately 2 million. Florida circa 1905. Palm Beach Hotel. Offering various modes of transport, including chairs that rock and ones that roll. October 1957. Tail light of 1958 Chevrolet. One of the lower end Chevys, which had duplex tail lights, as opposed to the triple light tail plus backup arrangement on the deluxe models. Catherine Bach, American actress, 1978. January 1943. Freight train operations on the Chicago Northwestern Railroad between Chicago and Clinton, Iowa. At the end of the trip, conductor John Wolfsmith waits at the Little Railroad Station for a suburban train. April 1955. Art Carney, Jackie Gleason, Audrey Meadows, and Joyce Randolph performing skit on television sound stage for the Honeymooners. circa 1915. Mailman and truck. Location unknown. Collection time 6.15 a.m. to noon. Circa 1915. Location unknown. Mailman motorcycle. And not just any motorbike but a Flying Merkel, with what looks like an acetylene gas headlamp. Oh, and spitting prohibited by law. Except into cuspidors. September 1942. Washington, D.C. conversion of the Shoreham Hotel furnace from oil to coal burning system. April 1957. Entertainer Lawrence Welk playing accordion with the Lennon sisters. Or, as he would introduce them, the lovely little Lennon sisters. Florida circa 1910. St. George Street, St. Augustine. Where merchants include purveyors of the Ingersoll Dollar Watch. September 15, 1961. Helena Rubinstein, 655 Fifth Avenue, New York. Class in session. Don Campbell and my father, Jack Shepard, went on a work-related trip to Sacramento in approximately 1950. They both worked as electrical engineers for the light and water department in Riverside County. November 1942. Salt Lake City, Utah. 
Woman training to operate buses and taxi cabs. August 1942. Fort Belvoir, Virginia. Soldier using a barbed wire anchor spike to screw in a picket. He is wearing special gloves that are made for handling barbed wire. Circa 1954. Actress Betty White on the set of her local Los Angeles daytime television show. Washington, D.C., or vicinity, 1925. Alleyway. Who can identify the church? December 29, 1953. New York City views. Times Square at night. Let's meet at the Brass Rail. April 1955. Entertainers Jackie Gleason and Art Carney, in costume, posed as their honeymooners characters Ralph Cramden and Ed Norton. Circa 1905. Wood Street, Pittsburgh, Pa. Home to Henan Shoes. New Zealand circa 1910. Young men in formal wear at table ready to have a meal next to Tent Lily at Camp Site, probably in Sumner, Christchurch. Washington, D.C., 1924. National American Ballet. You can't get much avant-garde than this. August 1937. Former bank, now a saloon. Mizpah, Minnesota. June 1942. Washington, D.C. U.S. Office of Defense Transportation System of Port Control and its Traffic Channel Control. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Charming girl in what look vintage 1960s. Catherine Bach is an American actress. Photo 1977. Actress Becky LeBeau 1986. April 7, 1922. Washington, D.C. Photographers shooting cherry blossoms at Tidal Basin.
July 1942. U.S. Naval Academy, Annapolis, Maryland. Basketball player. May 1942. Greenbelt, Maryland. Federal Housing Project. Shopping in the Cooperative Grocery Store. Washington, D.C., circa 1923. Herbert Hoover Jr. and Radio Set. Son of the future president and a noted ham. Washington, D.C., circa 1923. Herbert Hoover Jr. Radio Set. Detroit circa 1907. Horticultural building Belle Isle Park. Check out their latest vine. March 1921. City Gardens Club of New York exhibit at the International Flower Show, Grand Central Palace. New Zealand circa 1920. Young men on motorcycles, probably Wanganui region. Ready to run some errands, and you'd better not get in the way. Or else they might be late. Washington DC, 1922. Lee Tire Company Test. The tire to get if you plan on driving over dozens of nails simultaneously. June 26, 1956. Leadcoat Products Company, Vernon Boulevard, Astoria, Long Island. Office Accounting Department. Corridan M. Johnson Company Client. April 1942. South Hill Street, Los Angeles. Now playing at the Warner, the male animal. Washington circa 1922. Coin operated, radio outside barbershop. Washington, D.C., circa 1922. Coin-operated radio and barbershop. April 1955. Duke Ellington and band members playing baseball in front of their segregated motel while touring in Florida. May 1913. Randleman, North Carolina. Charlie Humble. Said he was 10 years old. Has a regular job. Been helping his sister for some months in the Deep River Mills. Mother and sister work. Father deserted. July 1942. Wrestling at U.S. Naval Academy.
June 1943.